Now I'm going to show you how you can use this 40 times zoom 4K pan tilt zoom camera with auto tracking. It's part of our Avalonix premium series of products. It's on your Mac to view and control using a web browser. I have Firefox on my Mac and I'm going to simply type in the IP address of the camera. I'm on the local network and without needing any plugins it will allow me to see video. I'm going to enter in the user credentials to log into the camera. Give it a few seconds, depending on your internet speed on your local network, you'll be able to view the camera live as things are happening. Now, the fluidity of the video you get depends on your network and how many users are logged into the Pantel Zoom camera and whether you're on Wi-Fi. I'm on Wi-Fi and I don't have the best connection, but I'm going to show you how I can control it. On the left-hand side, I've got my Pantel Zoom controls. I can actually move the camera. I can use 3D targeting to zoom into a specific area and the camera will zoom into it and I can keep on going. Now this baby has a lot of zoom. You can actually see things more than a thousand feet away in really good clarity. Let's try to pick up this license plate right here. Now, if for some reason there's an object in the foreground, all you need to do is kind of move the camera a little bit and it will autofocus itself. And there you go. I can read that license plate. Now, this car is about 300 feet away and I'm able to clearly read the plates. So you can certainly use Pantel zoom cameras to read plates off of stationary vehicles. Certainly uh, moving vehicles, it's a lot harder. While I'm waiting here, I'm going to show how you can even use the wiper function, the peripheral menu here, and then you press that, and the wiper will actually activate and clean. It's actually just doing that. That uh, little thing you saw, the fuzzy thing, is actually the wiper moving in front of the camera lens and cleaning it. There is no liquid to be dispensed, just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to show you uh, the angle of view that you get from this camera. Now it's at the widest angle of view it has and I'm going to zoom in full to a certain area. So I'm going to use the 3D targeting to make it easy for myself to zoom in in a very close area. Now I'm going to keep using the zoom, just to keep zooming in, zooming in, zooming in to see how much detail I can pick up. So on this sign, I'm able to pick up the dirt on it and whatever mounting holes it has, and you can see how the imperfections can be picked up by this camera as well. Now, as you zoom into the camera, it does intelligently decrease the speed of your pan, so you're not panning too much or tilting too much. And that's a natural and user intuitive design for the camera. So this camera has enough power that I can not even take full advantage of, but here you got a license plate for a car moving in the parking lot. So if there's slow moving vehicles, you can use this to surveil your property and look at uh, license plates passing by. Now I'm going to zoom out for you to be able to see how far this really is, which is about 300 feet away. And this is the wide shot. Now mind you, I'm doing this on my web browser locally on the same network. You could do this remotely too if you've got a fiber connection or a really good upload speed to the Panto zoom camera and you have good internet speed where you're watching it from. Now I'm going to show you how you can manage multiple Pantel zoom cameras through the NVR's web interface. I showed you how you can watch the camera through an HDMI monitor, and now I'm logging into the web interface of our NVR. You can do networking to even see this through the internet if you want it. I have two Pantel zoom cameras, and I'll be able to compare basically. First, I'll show you our four times zoom Pantel zoom camera. And secondly, here in this window will be our 40 times zoom. I have the 40 times zoom here looking far away, about a quarter of a mile at a stop sign. So I'm going to show you what you get when you compare a 4x zoom camera. The NVRs also intelligently let you manage the stream quality depending on your internet speed. So choosing the stream quality here lets me change the stream quality. Here, this camera is at 2.8 millimeter lens, which is a wide angle, and then when I zoom it in, that's all I see. So this is what you see with a four times zoom pan tilt zoom camera. That's about, you know, 50 to 60 feet away. 
I'll show you s some examples also of what you can do here on the right hand side with a 40 times zoom but apples to apples comparison this is how much difference 4 times zoom gives you and 40 times zoom gives you now I'm going to show you specifically our 40 times zoom camera that I've showed you a comparison between the 4 times and the 40 times let's look at exclusively the 40 times zoom now I'm going to show you how you can zoom in and zoom out you can do pan and tilt so I'm panning right now I can zoom in far away just like I could through the web interface of the camera itself I'm going to use my zoom button and I'm going to keep on zooming in until I hit a brick wall pun intended now with this camera I can see the defects in the mortar joints on the building across the street I'm not even in the full view. I'm now I'm going to go into the 4K view of the camera and you can see how good and clear this picture is. And uh, you can even use this for inspecting buildings if you want it. Now I'm going to show you how to use a preset. We have a preset that's set to be about a quarter mile away on a stop sign. The camera automatically zooms in on that location and pulls up my view of interest. So this stop sign right here is about a quarter mile away from the camera. I can see the other road signs there, another signage. If there are cars that are passing by, I may be able to even pick up their license plates such as this. So anything moving five or 10 miles an hour, you'll be able to pick up their license plates as well. Now keep in mind when you're watching the camera with a web interface, the fluidity of the video depends on your computer, your network. Having an NVR is the best because it always gets the best video stream recorded on there without any frame skipping or anything like that. It's normal for IP equipment to have some sort of frame skipping when you're watching it over the web interface or through a PC software or through your phone app. But the NVR gets the best video quality recorded on there. When you play it back, it's fluid. And zoom back out. So again, you can use this as a live plate camera even in some settings where you have a clear unobstructed view of the plates. Now, if you have rainy season and you've got your camera sitting in a view and it's not as clear as this, you can even through the web interface of the NVR trigger the wiper on the menu and hit on and it will, there you go, you see this wiper going through and you can turn it off. There's no liquid dispensing mechanism, it's just a dry wiper, so it's great for using in a wet environment. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.